Cubicle Crashers? Welcome to another episode of Screw the Cubicle TV. I'm your host, Lydia Lee, of course. And today I want to talk in this video a little bit about how you can test your service-based business idea before you actually quit your job. So if you were like me, you know, you want to make sure that before you throw in the towel and say goodbye to your boss and the nine to five, you want to make sure that you're creating services that, that actually will sell and you actually know the outcomes and are confident about the process that you bring your clients through. So if you're like me, kind of a bit of a perfectionist, you want to make sure that um, your services really provide these promised outcomes that uh, your business promises to your clients, you want to be able to do the step first. Um, and this is a great thing to do while, while you're still in the nine to five job, actually, so that you can be testing out your business idea and your processes before you actually quit. So before you even think about logo or marketing or your website or anything of that sort, which is kind of the aesthetics of things, you really want to get the blueprint of how you run your clients from A to B right for yourself before you quit. So firstly, you need to pick who you want to work with. And I'm sure you've heard a lot about ideal clients, picking your avatar to work with. And a lot of times we get too general about this person. So I want to invite you to actually start thinking about the people that are already in your lives that, that um, will need your services, need a bit of your genius. Who is that person that keeps asking you a bunch of questions about things you know how to do? Um, and how can you be able to help this one person? So picking actually one actual avatar rather than generalizing on a population of the global people. Um, this will really help you write your your service or write your blogs or film your videos according to this one person. This person exists. It's a real person. Have They have a name. And so every time that you um, think about how you can help this person solve problems, really just think individually. And being able to be individual will help you be a little bit more detailed in the way that you help. And there's less stress about trying to make everybody happy or um, every woman under this age group happy. So picking one particular profile or one person that is existing in real life will really, really help you tailor your services according to the needs of this one person. So take a look at your inner circle, people that already exist in your world and pick someone that you would love to work with that fits in the profile as your ideal client. Now that you've picked one avatar to work with, you need to start crafting up your details of your blueprint. So the blueprint is again, the process and the structure of how you work with a client to bring them from a point A and to point B. So first you need to figure out what is the outcome? What are the results of um, working with you? What are some tangible you know, uh, promises that you can commit to when you work with a client? What would you like them to experience after they've been blessed by you as a service professional? And then you can reverse engineer engineer the steps that that it takes to actually bring that client through to get that particular um, uh, to that destination or to those results. And that's really in the end of the day, your blueprint, how you're going to work with them. It will determine your number of sessions. It determines the homework in between that you may be giving uh, clients to do as exercises before they start coaching with you or getting on the phone with you and maybe prep work that needs to be done before they jump on each call. So this is some of the stuff that you really need to think about so that you have a manual, a bit of a manual. Every client that comes to you really goes through the same process in your blueprint. So, but the before of how they, what they are doing and what they have to do before they start working with you. And then the journey that you take them to get them to the after, right? The after door of the results, all the things that you promise that your services will provide. And here's a pro tip. When you actually come up with your blueprint, whether it's like a five step program or a six step program or 12 step program, you will be able to pick out the strongest pieces in the entire blueprint, extract that out later on and actually do multiple other programs according to this blueprint. So you never have to think again, you know, uh, what else could I sell? You're actually having this signature program that you pull from uh, that you're able to expand the strongest pieces and build new programs to sell later on. Now, after you've started to craft your blueprint, you have kind of a skeleton of where you're going to take your clients through and what needs to happen in between that journey with them. You can start to call for an invitation for beta clients. So this is when you get to test out to whether or not your process actually works, right? You can refine it. You can get feedback and suggestions and make this program even more special before you actually launch it and charge full price for your services. And that's going to ease you a little bit into, um, you know, launch as well. So you're not nervous about it. You kind of know it works 
works, you've got testimonials already, and you know this the best that you can do at that very moment. So invite about five people, so depending on your program and, and how long you may wanna use as your beta test a period of time, I would say a good um, handful of clients would be great. So five clients that you can pick. And you can use what my uh, one of my favorite coaches that I've worked with, Tara Gentili, she uses a strategy called the living room strategy, which is one thing that she taught me one day when I said, oh, I gotta advertise on Facebook to call in these testers for a new program I wanna make. And she goes, well, Lydia, why do you wanna fill an arena you know, when you really just want to fill a living room, which is an intimate group of women that you just want to work with and take through this process on a very private and intimate setting. So why am I going blasting out Facebook ads when I could be personally inviting people to the party, right? So this is a, a, a great game changer for me in terms of invitation. So you can start to really look at the people that um, are in your lives or in groups that you've joined, or if you already have a blog or um, a Facebook group that you run, maybe you can extend that invitation to get people to test out this new uh, program with you or this new service that you're offering um, and say that it's a test and, and price it either for free or price it at a, at a low price point for them to understand the exchange of their feedback and surveys to help you make this program better. And there's tons of testers out there that are willing to, to do that. And that's how I really started my coaching business is bringing eight clients, eight coaching clients through when I didn't know what the hell I was doing um, and then gaining courage through that process. And I, yeah, I stumbled, I failed <laughs> a few times, but because it was a beta test, people were totally more you know lenient with the process and they gave me suggestions they gave me a lot of love as I went through it and at the end of the day I, I received some great testimonials before I even launched my website which is awesome right so think about who can you invite in that living room strategy that Tara has suggested personally whether it's by a phone call or an email and let them know on a transparent basis that this is a new launch it's a new product but you're confident about it and you want to take them through the process in exchange for their feedback and to get testimonials for your site so experimenting with your service-based business idea is essential to do before you quit your job so that you can do it with less pressure and more courage at the end of the day. And who knows, by you doing this kind of as a sideline gig, it might start to bring you some income and then when you're ready to quit, you kind of understand that you've already, already brought people through some of your services, you have, you have testimonials on your site and you're confident with the process and you have a little bit of a client base to start with. So this is really um, something that I wish I did a little bit sooner than later and, and to build that confidence for myself before I quit as well. And the great thing about knowing your blueprint of the process and structures that you actually need to take to bring your clients to A to B really gives you that ease of flow when you take on new clients all the time because they're gonna go through the same process. It's like building a house. You're not gonna really build a house without the foundation of the house, right? You could have a pretty interior design, great aesthetics on the outside, but if it doesn't have the fundamentals and the foundation of that business, uh, sorry, of that house, you know, a huge hurricane can come and, and blow it down, down the hill. So that's the same thing of, of your, uh, um, sorry, your business as well, is to really start with the fundamentals, start with the foundations of your business before you start building things like websites, logos, and branding. You know, really know what you do in the business, how you help, and the structure and process it takes to bring your clients through to the results that you promise. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and of course, as usual, each video comes with a video blog where I go into a little bit more detail, so make sure to click on the link below in the description to get into the discussion um, of your, your business blueprint and testing out your idea, and please comment um, and let me know how I can help, and I'm always there um, to give you a hand as you transition through from employee to entrepreneur. Thanks for watching, and see you soon on the next episode. Hey, thank you so very much for watching Screw the Cubicle TV and don't forget to subscribe below to get all the latest cubicle crashing content on how to quit your nine to five and create a life and business on your own terms.